I didn't rise to the challenge about atheist regimes in the 20th century, and I really should take a minute. I hope I've got a minute for this. Um, I'll be very brief. Um, if you take out the word fascism from any history of the 1920s and 30s, any decent history, and replace it with the words the Catholic right wing, you don't need to change anything. Fascism was just another name for the extreme right wing forces of the Roman Catholic Church. That's true whether it's Portugal, Croatia, Poland, Hungary, Italy, and all of these regimes and movements had a, con a specific concordat with the Vatican. You may not say that fascism is a secular or atheist movement, not if you don't want to do great violence to history. Uh, the churches of Germany uh, celebrated the birthday of Adolf Hitler every year till 1945 by order. Uh, and his first, his first significant treaty of the Nazi regime was with the Vatican, a concordat that gave the church a monopoly over the education of German children in, in response for a, a pact uh, that abolished Catholic parties that might challenge the rule of Hitler. That's not secularism, excuse me. It's not atheism either. Quite wrong to say that it is. It's a form of paganism, as a matter of fact, but uh, it would have involved, as well as a compromise with Christianity, the revival of some Nordic myths, but those weren't secular or atheistic either. The cult of Wotan and Odin is not atheism. Um, in the case of the Soviet Union, where uh, the, the population had been told for centuries that the Tsar was like the Pope, uh, d divinely inspired and divinely empowered, uh, and where serfdom was justified by the R Russian Orthodox Church, which was a state church. If you're Joseph Stalin, seminarian graduate, seizing power, if you don't know how to exploit a reservoir of credulity and stupidity and passivity and servility like that, you shouldn't be in business. And what did he do? He replicated the same thing. There was an inquisition, a heresy hunt, a, a, a promotion of himself as the, as the divine one from whom all blessings flowed, uh, and all the rest of it. And to this day, the Russian Orthodox Church, which never ceased to support Stalin, um, has under Putin actually begun to produce icons. I can show them to you if you doubt me. You can look them up on the Weekly Standard website, any of you tonight. Icons of the Russian Orthodox Church showing Joseph Stalin with a halo around his head. This is not atheism, nor is it secularism.